I'm Scoop Perlman and welcome to another edition of Scoop Perlman's Guide to Art. Today we're looking at the art of uh, another Madison icon, Phil Porter. I really enjoy his work and I hope you all do too. My name is Mary Jo Othal and I met Phil about three years ago when I started filming, filming my documentary, What is Normal? That's so, it. I guess what I'm curious about is you met Phil in the course of making this documentary, but you still have a relationship with him. You yeah. still share a studio with him. I've known him about three years, and Gary Messenger called me because this space became available, and for Phil to afford it, and for myself too, we decided, I said, yeah, we were kind of looking. And so it's in the same building, so as Phil says, he just moved up in the world. Okay, yeah, I guess what, um... He was in the basement. And my stereotypical image I had in my head of an artist is you're sitting by your easel, there's a canvas, and you're spending hours working on your painting. And I walked into Phil's studio, and there was like four or five easels spread around in a circle. And there was art on this table, art on that table, a couple piece, pieces leaning against the easels, and putting a little red here, and then, oh, which one needs red? This one needs some red there. And, and then doing the same thing with the blue, and it was, I just felt uh, like I was in watching this shaman in some mystical <laughs> trance going around. Cause he was a, I counted, there was 13 paintings that Phil was working at, at the same time, and I just felt like, wow, I'm in this sacred place here. Mm -hmm. now, what is it about Phil, is I guess what I'm asking. I think that Phil and I really have a spiritual connection in a sense, and I... Larry King had Elder John on last night. Larry King did. We, yeah. we heard that. CNN. Larry yeah, we missed it. We're talking about our relationship together. Yeah. You and I. Yep. And how we connected. I've connected with a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He talked a lot about his childhood and some of the things he went through. And his his artwork, I think, is very childlike in a sense. I think he was robbed. Well, he was robbed of his childhood. He was in an institution, you know, for many years. From the time he was eight years but old. But I did get a lot of art classes there, which helped yeah. mm -hmm. along the way. Patty Washinsky got me started in the painting in, seven, in 78. She got me started. I had some state level shows when Thompson was first governor, when I was living in Orchard. Okay. And then I had, they had some shows at the governor's mansion, too, and I gave them uh, uh, some paintings. So, do you have actually have work hanging in the Wisconsin Governor's Mansion? Yes. One is in the special arts book. It's, it's of a Madison. Instead of having a, a climate, apple and pear type climate like we have, it's, it, it, it's, it has the Golden Gate Bridge and some orange tr and, and grapefruit trees in it. Okay, now, Phil, I don't. I hate to break this to you, but the Golden Gate Bridge isn't in Wisconsin. And I know. I haven't seen a whole lot of grapefruit trees around either. No, but I've been pushing to move some of those things here. You can do anything when you're an artist. <laughs> what kind of artist do you consider yourself to be? You know? Just a nature artist. A I, nature uh, artist. Yeah, somewhat of a nature artist. I like to paint paint animals. I like. I, occasionally I'll paint dogs and bears, you know. I'll paint bears. Okay. A lot of your paintings have cars in them too, and that's yes. I like to paint cars. I like to paint dinosaurs. From from being a child, I haven't painted any in a while, but I I like to paint dinosaurs, like in just Jurassic Park. I'm really sympathetic towards things like canine dogs and and cats and feline cats and all that. I'm very sympathetic towards them. What what don't you like? I don't know. I don't like. I don't care for bugs. I'm not a bug person. No. Well, you know what else is wonderful about Phil's paintings? Every painting has a sun in it. Every. Yes. Yeah. There. Oh, you'll see the sun. Yeah. Okay. There they are. There's one there. Right. Born there's and there's one there. there. No, I, I see that some of your paintings have more than one sun. That is, that's What's that about, Phil? Well, my, I figure one sun stands for my great grandfather. One sun is for me. Now, I notice that the suns aren't exactly the same. One's a little brighter than the other. Yeah. Which one is you? I'm not sure. I'm just painting them. I just paint them in a. a, a Another kind of I figure my great grandfather was a bright spot in my life. If it hadn't have been for him, I don't know. I, I don't know where I'd be today. 
Now, I'm kind of interested, you know, in your paintings, you mm -hmm. paint a lot of your memories of how the neighborhood was, mm -hmm. and, you know, your memories of the street and where you grew up and all that. But you're also talking a lot about a lot of the people that you remember. Yep. Have you ever tried to paint, say, your great grandfather? No. I have never had. Oh, you think you'll ever try? I could try, but I don't know what I'd go, but I, if I know, I gotta look up a lot of pictures. I'm not sure how many pictures of what I have. Well, I don't know, I was asking you yeah. what it's like going yes. around town and, yep. um, you know, seeing that your great-grandfather's yep. work, his architecture it's, and stuff like that. It makes me like comfortable, that. you know. It makes you comfortable? Yes. How so? Uh, I I lived here when I was very, in this area when I was very young. I remember when a Irma Gartner and a Mrs. Smith lived here when, when I was real little. This is when this is like the 40s and 50s. Well, I'm not that old yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I had a relationship with a young girlfriend in the house right next to it when I was, you know, and we just didn't get along. So and this was way back when, it, when we both were young, you know, when I, I, I was... I was about with my six or seven, you know. Uh -huh. This is where I lived when I was real small. We, my aunt, my mom's sister lived upstairs. So was it like a duplex? Yes. Okay. But you, we, it was like one, two apartments with one bed, two one bedroom apartments, two one bedrooms. Uh huh. And where did you stay? Uh, we downstairs, and for a while we had the whole house to ourselves too. So we, we nobody rented. A sandbox, I had a sandbox there, a, a tent, all my childhood memories are here. Okay. Are those happy memories? Yes, pretty much. Okay, have you painted those? Uh, it's not, 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 not yet. What was life like here back then? Can you describe it? Uh, everybody knew one another back then. It was more like everybody knew one another. Uh -huh. You knew the person who lived next to you. It wasn't like you had to be as, as you know, as careful as you do now. You knew the person down the street uh -huh. from you back when I was small. Yeah, you see a lot of strangers yes, now? Yes, yes. Is that, how do you feel about that? Is it scary for it's you? It's scarier, or? it's scarier, somewhat scarier. Uh-huh. Do you feel more vulnerable as yes. you get older? Yes, yes, I do. Huh. And what's that like? How does that show up in your painting? Uh, d d b different colors, blues, reds, and whatnot. Yeah. As opposed to... Mm. I mean, well, like, what co you know, what colors did you used to? I, I they've changed. They went to black even sometimes. Really? Yeah. So it's got you know blues and whatnot. Okay, so that's since you started getting Greens older. And and, uh, yes, but I'm I'm also painting positive pictures of downtown Madison. I was thinking we'd do the Capitol today. You know, the Capitol just. That was he, that was my great grandfather's project. Okay, is is that something you want to paint today? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, that's worth doing. The Capitol. Do you do you know now what colors you're going to use, yeah, for instance? I do gray because for a long time the Capitol was a dirty gray. It wasn't that white, uh, clean white, you know. Okay, but you, but you remember it as gray. Yeah, yes. You talk about, you know, I mean, the building's kind of dirty. Do you think yeah. politics are dirty? The yeah. things that go on yeah. inside there? I think so. Especially now, since they got it all cleaned up, it's like, I think the inside is dirtier than the outside now. <laughs> Do you like to go into the Capitol a lot? Yeah, but since he's put all those barriers around the Capitol, Bacallan, I, I don't dare go in and get chased away. They got things too tight. Too much security? Too much security, right. Do you think that the Capitol is in danger from terrorists? I think the politicians are paranoid. They hear national news and they get all worried. I think they watch too much of it themselves. Now, are you going to be working on all three of these paintings at the same yeah, time? Maybe. <laughs> kind of figure that out when we yep. see how things work out. Mm -hmm. huh? Is this the Madison Capitol yes. or is this just any Capitol? This is the Madison one. So what makes this the Madison Capitol instead miss of... Miss Forward. Uh, if I put a Miss Forward on, it's usually the Madison Capitol. Mm -hmm. okay, now, what part did your great-grandfather have in um, designing the Capitol? He was the head architect. What's this color here that you chose, this kind of turquoise color? Turquoise. Oh, this kind of... Uh, or aqua? It, it's aqua. I like to use that for grass because it's it's... The color of the pine trees and fir trees. 
So what? What's this back here? Is that um? It's supposed to be the other side of the Capitol. Yeah. I'm trying to do the downtown the way it used to be. Yeah. Uh, Seems like um. That's the hardest. You work a lot with the way things used to be. I, I, I thought it was a, a nicer place to be. Okay. No, I've tried to make paintings on square canvases, and I've always found that kind of hard. Uh, I don't just do square. I do rectangle. Yeah, I, well, I see that. But um, why did you choose a square for this one? I don't know why I did. I just sometimes I think being a the city is built on a square. A square is kind of a, worth having a square, I guess. Now the way this is shaping up, it looks like it's gonna. It has kind of a wintry feel. I'm gonna, to it. Yes, but I'm gonna. I'm, the buildings were white, except for the, for the Strand Theater. So I'm kind of working, working. I'm gonna see if get some reds and oranges in there too. I, I'm gonna do it. I, I think what I'm gonna do is just do it up to the Strand Theater. You know, okay. Since it's kind of small anyway. So this is a decision that you're making right yes. now. Yes. Because of the for the amount of space I have. Uh-huh. <sighs> so you don't know what a painting is going to look like? Nope. Mm -hmm. But usually, if it turns out, this is sort of the sort of the best, best of downtown, sort of the best. Do you have paintings that don't turn out? Yes, but I, I, I work till they do. Mm. So what are you working on here? The Duck Pond. This is the duck pond in Nakoma. Uh -huh. It's it's what I call so to me it's home. If, if anything is home, this is it. Okay, those are ducks that you're working on. Yep. Yeah. That's the closest thing I. Uh, this is as close to the thing as I get to painting console crest. I like what's happening here with that these house. Would, that, this house would pass. For the state of Wisconsin, even if you put a like a, a a peninsula, upper peninsula, this would and what not this would pass for the state of Wisconsin. What so, state is it? I don't know, not anything yet. But I've been, as I was just saying, you know, if if I could do enough to it, I could probably pass it for the state of Wisconsin. Okay. Now this painting only has one sun so far. Are you going to put in another one? Yes, I am. Do you ever use more than two? Sometimes three, but the people say that's a little overdoing it. Well, what do they know? Okay, what do they do? They know. Now, do you think that your art is political at all? I mean, you do stuff like the state capitol, and yeah, you know, that's a political place. Do you think yeah. you're a political artist? I might be a political artist. I might consider myself a political artist. Why would you consider yourself that? But I, uh, but I'm no governor. I'm no. I'm just an artist, uh, and no, no, uh, which, uh, which the last governor may have listened to, but the people they have now, I don't think really care, you know. You don't think McCallum cares? No, I don't. He's just a small town person from Fond du Lac. Now, you don't dilute your paints at all? You mm. don't, like, use water or anything? No, now? not too much water. I use some, now and then I use water, but I dilute more when I do watercolors. Well, that, well, that makes sense, but you, um, you like putting the paint on thickly. Yes, I like to have it thick. I dilute more when I use water. So you like what happens when you... Mm. You know, put the orange over the yes. blue there. And this is the, cadmium. How the blue, yeah, yeah, cadmium red. Mm -hmm. So you like how the blue kind of yes. comes through there? It's close enough to orange that it come out red, even though it's close enough to orange. Well, it kind of makes the blue look bluer, don't you think? Yeah. No one ever thought, no one planned for me to be artist. It just happened. It was just something, Patty. When she, when she worked at the Opportunity Center, it, she, she encouraged me to take up, and I did it. And how old were you then? Uh, in my 30s and 40s, close to being in my 40s. Mm, so. 
And how did she encourage you? She said, do you want to take, make is it living and uh, off of it? And I said, yes. I just, and she was the art teacher, too, at the time. I took art. Huh. And I liked what I'm doing, so. Yeah, what kind of, what kind of stuff did she teach you about? Mm, mixing your colors. Uh-huh. Which I'm, I'm trying to get the sun to look more like the sun. The oranger it is, the more original the sun is. So... Now, if you're painting something, what's the first thing that? I mean, do you start out in the middle, or yes. do you start from the top and go to I the bottom? I start from the top and go to the bottom. So that's... And you don't know where you're going until you get there? Or yes. You don't really... It's like a it's like a mystery. You don't know where you're going until you get there. So, so you think your art's pretty mysterious? Yes. Right? Is it like an adventure for yeah, you? Yeah, it is. How, how is that? You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I I, I kind of like it because it's adventure. I don't know where I'm gonna, what what it's going to turn out like till it happens. But she likes she she said she thinks you plan for art. Well, basically, maybe you do, but I I never know. Sometimes I can paint it; and it'll turn out the way it will. Other times, I paint it; it'll turn out to be something totally different. That that sounds pretty exciting. Yep, it is. Do you get excited when you work on it? Yes. That? I didn't want to get that on the door. I should get that off. Do you ever think you'll run out of memories to paint? Oh, I don't think so. Unless they tear everything down at once. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's been known to happen, I guess. So, what do you think of all those plans to kind of make the square your know, place to go again? Uh, I, 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 I'm for it, but I'm also for putting stores back on the square. I don't think it's it's, it's the kind of I don't think it's 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 what I call Madison at all. I don't even care for the mayor. I wish she she stepped out. What? <laughs> I wish she'd stepped out. Why don't you like the mayor? She doesn't operate in the people's best interest. Who's the best interest? Do you think she operates in her own? My great grandfather built it, and he was the architect of the building, uh -huh. and the capital he did too. He built the city up. So can you turn the around? mayor is tearing it down. Now, now, if the mayor were here right now, what would you say to her? Say, quit tearing down these old buildings. They stand for something. They mean a lot more than you do. What do What do they mean? The history. This is the city. This is like a, it's supposed to be one of those railway towns. Now, are, are, is what you're trying to do in your paintings? Are you trying yes. to keep that history yes. alive? I am. So, so you're on a mission, huh? Yep. Standing here in the Wisconsin State Capitol, one can't help but get a, a sense of history, a sense of legacy. And I think that's a lot about what Phil Porter's art is all about. You know, I look at all these, all this veined marble, the cornices, the pilasters, you know, the domes and arches and all the stuffy portraits of formally posed dead statesmen. And I wonder how much this building is about guys like Phil Porter, guys like me. You know, I'd like to sneak in here at night and replace all these stuffy portraits with some of Phil's paintings. Liven the place up a little. And perhaps I shall. <laughs>